What happens when someone with next to no knowledge of Islam attempts to fast during Ramadan? Today, I am in Indonesia, the country with the most Muslims in the world with over 240 million, with a plan to take on a challenge that will test me both mentally and physically. I'm going to fast for the entire day. When's the last time you ate? I haven't eaten today. Really? Including waking up early for Sahur. Learn about Islam at a neighborhood mosque. Who's Muhammad? <laughs> and break fast with my new family in Jakarta in their home. Meet Linguina, stand up comedian, super mum, Martabak expert, and my friend in Jakarta. Today, you and I are going to join Linguina, her community, and her family to get a real insight into what a day in the life is like as a Muslim during Ramadan. And for me to experience my very first Ramadan, my first fast, my first iftar, and my first time inside a mosque. Do you think I'll last the whole day without eating? I'm fasting, so all I can think about is food. I'm so Let's hungry. Find out. We met up at a famous mall that displays some incredible Islamic artwork, and it was discovered for the first time while the construction of the mall was occurring. Then we jumped on the Jakarta Metro, something she really, really wanted to show me, and we started the first part of the journey to the mosque. This is Paksugun. Paksugun. Go. This is Josie. Salamat siang. Salamat siang. Salamat siang. Well, the Indonesian. Every single one of us wear the mukana. We call it the mukana. Mukana? Yeah, M U K E N A. All the la- you can see that all the ladies have big bags. Yeah, <laughs> have the mukana. Because we have a bag and a bag and a bag. Yeah. This was the first time we met each other, and we had immediately hit it off, cracking jokes, learning about Jakarta, and I found out what was in store for me today. Then, because she'd reached out to me, I asked her how she found me. Oh, is that the one you saw? Yeah, the one that got 2 million views. Martabak <laughs> Manus! I actually was going to ask you what video you saw that of mine. That specific video. Uh, <laughs> and you were like, just screaming, uh, enjoy your reaction. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we enjoyed that one. It was yeah. So oh. we ordered, for today, we ordered the chocolate and cheese just to be safe. Oh, enak. <laughs> enak. And Delicious. this one is actually called Martabak Gendut. Oh, Gendut not Manus? Oh, good. So it's actually <laughs> a body shaming Marta. <laughs> <laughs> you are funny. I shouldn't think about that at this point in time. We're I, fasting. I'm now. fasting, so all I can think about is food. I'm so hungry <laughs> already. Tajil. So what does Tajil. that mean? Tajil. See that? Yeah. So basically, it's the small snacks and drinks that you do to first break your fast before you have the big meal. Before you have the meal, okay. The mosque that we're going to is mm-hmm. a neighborhood mosque. Um, and my friend is there, so they call, Muslims call her there, Pak Ustad, which is a teacher. Teacher, okay. Teacher in Arabic. Hello. Hello. This is Josie, this is Risma. Hello, how are you? <laughs> nice to meet you. Assalamualaikum. Assalamualaikum. Thank you. After meeting up with Linguina's friend, I was about to step foot into my first mosque. I have been to a few Muslim countries before, but I've never actually stepped inside a mosque. Not from lack of wanting, but more from lack of access and not really knowing how or what to do. I felt a little nervous and I was excited doing something so foreign to me and to see the inside of a place that is generally not available to me and the culture that I come from. You have pray five times, mm. but today during Ramadan you have six, right? Because you have the yeah, Shalat Tarawah. Yeah, yeah. 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 So when do you pray? You've done your ones this morning? Uh, I've like done the one in the morning, one before I met you. I'm going to do another one here. Now? And then one after Iftar after. and then another one when we got home. Wow. Busy. <laughs> How long does it take to pray um, each time? I time myself about <laughs> five to eight. Minutes? For the praying? Yeah, yeah for the praying. About wow, five to eight cool. minutes. But the Tarawih one, um, that's the special half one. Half an hour. Half an hour? Mm. Wow, okay. It's kind of long. It's a long one. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do mine after you leave. <laughs> uh, uh, Quran reading for the oh, kids. Oh, wow, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Tanto punya teman orang bule. Bule. Iya, <laughs> orang bule mau lihat belajar ngaji katanya. Ayah. Assalamualaikum. Hello. <laughs> Al-Qur'an. Okay. So, we don't start with Al-Qur'an straight away. Oh, so with the juice on. Yeah. Oh, so like yeah. a smaller, easier to read before you go to the Al-Qur'an. Yeah. And it's a so what if for someone who didn't know what is the Qur'an? The Qur'an is a big book with a very poetic 
versus a right. god. Yeah. <laughs> and how long is it? How how um, big is it? Thirty chapters. Thirty chapters. Mm. Wow. I'll show you one later. Yeah, show me. <laughs> <laughs> My bad, my bad. It's very interesting. Hello. Hello. Oh, English bagus. Hi. This is awesome, like getting this sort of like backstage because I reached out to someone, actually she reached out to me, it's just awesome, like the way to experience places like this, this is... Salaamu Alaikum! We are doing what we call Tajweed. Tajweed is how to read the Quran in the correct way. So they're learning this like school? Yeah. And you do this through... This is after school. This is after school, so you have school and then you come and do this. Wow. And do you do this only during Ramadan or do you do this all the time? Any time, or only Ramadan? Every day. Every day. Yeah. Not just wow. Ramadan. And how old are they? So these are all the kids. Then. Ini anak-anak kelas enam rata-rata. Sixth graders. Sixth grade. Wow. Okay. The other rooms have the ones that we call Hafiz, which is those who can memorize the Quran. I can't memorize the Quran. With, with no book. With no book. Yeah. Yeah. You can do that? People yeah, can do yeah, that? Yeah, wow. Can do that. 30, 30 chapters. 30 chapters. So he, they're sitting here and they're literally just so focused on learning these sentences. It's I've never seen concentration like this in children, if I'm being completely honest with you. I don't think I could have sat down when I was in sixth grade and learned something like this. I just wouldn't have. This is awesome. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thanks. <laughs> I was walking out the door and goes, thanks. <laughs> and you go, terima kasih, terima kasih. Yeah, thanks. thanks. Green is basically the flag of the Muhammad's army. Oh, really? Mm. So would every mosque have kind of green or is it kind just Kind of green. A... Yeah, well, yeah. Okay. Most of the time. Not all the time, but most of the time. No. Oh, yeah, from third to sixth grade. Third to sixth so grade. Yeah, okay. Fourth grade. What He's complaining. I'm not third grade. I'm fourth grade. Sorry. <laughs> Four. Four. Namaste, Jersey. Namaste. Kaifas. Nice to meet you. How do I say nice to meet you? Salam Shana Bata Mukamu. Oh, thank you. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Abasa Wata Walla. So this is the, what is it, the Makanas? Mukana. You can just show on that for a second. It's recording, right? It's recording. Which one is it? goes over and covers your whole face. Yep. And then you wear like a sarong that goes underneath. And I don't know how you fold this back up and fit it in your bag. <laughs> I will. It's a I'll lot of fabric. You. I'll this show you my other ones at home. It's like different patterns and different stuff, right? Different patterns and stuff, yeah. This is so cool. So this one's like like your like not casual one, but this like my one go -to. that you, your go-to. Yeah, my traveling one. Wow. <laughs> it's hot. <laughs> 
but it is. Panas. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we'll take a photo of me. After trying on the Mukana, I felt more comfortable in the mosque and I learned a little bit more about Islam from Lingui. Sajada is just carpet for prayers. So okay. In our homes, we have singular sajada like this. Yeah. But in a mosque, it's a very long sajada. Oh, it's the whole thing. But at home, we have an individual one. So then I learned something I probably should have known mm. about already. Mm -hmm. This is Allah, which is God. Yes. And that one is Muhammad. Mm. So we pray to God. And Muhammad is the messenger. Okay, silly question. Who's Muhammad? Muhammad. Sorry, I assume you know. <laughs> Sorry. So, uh, the first cur the first verse of the Quran was revealed by an angel to Muhammad and the Prophet. What's a popular like food that you would have to break your fast? She said it's uh, dates. With coconut milk and sugar. Oh, for this I wanna show them my outer. This is called your outerwear, right? Yeah, outerwear. Outerwear. So you brought that for me, yeah. luckily. <laughs> um, and then you have this as well. But you have to cover try down. To, to try to cover that to your head. Bending me. Help. Harus dibuka dulu nggak? Yeah, that's okay. Got it? There we go. <laughs> so you have your outerwear, which, do you have a name for that? Or is it just no, outerwear? No, just call it outer. And you wear it down to your yeah, wrist. The wrist, and then you have this, which is called a. That one is a pashmina. Pashmina. It's yeah, I always forget. Called hijab. That. In where? Hijab. Hijab. Covering it is like called hijab. Same thing. Pashmina um, hijab. Pashmina is more of the of the clothing. The co ah, yeah. okay. Leaving the mosque left me feeling a little more enlightened and honestly understanding of Islam and more motivated to get to iftar to break my fast correctly. I thought we were heading home, but then I learned about the second most fun part of a day of fasting, which is gathering your food, or in this case, coffee. Hi. <laughs> Thank you. Sarah McCarthy. So what, when's the last time you ate? It was like, I haven't eaten today. Really? Yeah, because really? I, oh, I wow. slept in. Um, oh, because you slept in? Yeah. <laughs> so you didn't even do the sahur? No. <laughs> I'm probably gonna do it tomorrow though. I'm gonna go grab some dates okay. and then I'll and I'll wake up early we have tomorrow. Some at home. You, okay. you can bring home. Can I steal some and then I'll eat yeah, it in the morning? Definitely. <laughs> so it's good because I'm starting to now feel like normally I would be hungry all day, but I think I slept in and then I, I was working, I had editing, and then I met you, so I we've kind of been busy. Would that be something that you do? Kind of keep right. busy? Yeah, keep busy. Yeah, you so forget. you're not like you forget. Hello. I'm gonna carry on. That's Hi! Assalamualaikum. Waalaikumsalam. She's trying. <laughs> I'm trying. Hi. Namasteya, Josie. Ah, thank you. Bully, bully, bully. Me, me or the cat? I'm not sure. <laughs> is it me or where is it? She was telling me the cat's name is Bully. <laughs> Hi. Does it? Oh gosh. Oh. <laughs> I don't like cats. <laughs> Let me pat you. Ah, sorry. <laughs> oh, how old are you? Twelve. Twelve. So you can help me count. So Satu, Dua, Tiga, Mbat, Lima, Tima, Lima, Lima, Nam, Nam. So I'm I'm getting like I'm ready for some food now, which is good because it's almost. If tar. What was that word that starts with M? What is it? The Maghrib. Maghrib. Maghrib is the prayer time. Prayer time. Okay. Yeah, sundown prayer time. Sundown. And the, we, we do we start eating at six or seven? Okay, six or seven. <laughs> All right, we're almost there. <laughs> Are you hungry? Yes, very hungry. When do you fast from? Do you do all day now? Yeah. All day. So the last time you ate was this morning. Yes. Wow. And when did you start eating? Uh, like fasting all day. How old were you? Like now. Is it if this is your first year, is this hard to do all day? First day was like first your, day was your legs feel like jelly. Jelly. Jelly, are you tired? <laughs> this is your favorite one. Yeah. This mm. is her favorite. So sate padang is from West Sumatra. That one is a bit spicy. You need to try it, Ooh. but it's a bit but spicy. It's not really this yeah, but I'm bule. <laughs> <laughs> spicy for bule me. Bule spicy for me. Yeah. This is the normal martabak manis. Mm. And then this one is one? the hybrid of it. Yeah. It's called tipker. Tipker. It's tipis kering, which means thin and crisp. Gendut. Martabak gendut. 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 gendut means fat. As in fat. We're getting <laughs> super close to being able to eat. And now that we're talking about it a lot, I'm getting... <laughs> 
<laughs> I kind of want to eat now. <laughs> so we waited and we waited for iftar. And not having ever done this before, I wasn't actually that sure at this point what I was actually waiting for in order to know when to eat. What's the azan? It's the call for prayers. <laughs> it and marks, it, and it marks happens the when end. you can eat? Yeah. Really? Yeah. So that's what we do. We wait in front of the TV. <laughs> So this comes, the prayer comes on the TV and then it just tells them that that's when you can start eating. And they just jumped up to start eating. <laughs> you, you were gonna sit and honor the Yeah, I was! <laughs> and we were like, let's eat! And then we broke fast together, starting with some water, some tea, and then of course, my favorite, Marta Bakmanis. So this, as you can see, is Martabak Menis. Actually, Martabak, what is it? Gr. Tip gr. Tip gr. Gr. <laughs> it's thin. It's super thin. So instead of like the big thick Martabak, it's thin and crispy. But it's got the same, right? Chocolate and cheese. Which one you like better? The thick one or the thin yeah, one? Yangini. <laughs> Yangini. <laughs> you like that one still better? <laughs> yeah, I like the thick one. Okay. You see the difference? Oh, okay, there you go. It's like super fat. And this one's like... Really think <laughs> this is better than I remember. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I'm not sure. I told you earlier. I'm not sure if it's because I haven't eaten though, or <laughs> or if it's just really you're good. Fasting all day. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Does that happen? Does food feel like really good? Definitely. Good to you? Definitely. Yeah. 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 Everything feels better. Tastes better. Same. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and I've got tea, and I've got coffee, <laughs> and I've got water. <laughs> We've got lots of food everywhere. Martha back. So um, they have gone to pray. So this is how many you pray five times, right? Yeah. So this will be their fourth, the fourth time. So they have one more and then the special prayer, right? Yeah. And when do they do that? When do you do the special right one? Right after Isha, the fifth one. After the fifth one. And you do them all too? You yeah. pray five times and then a yeah. sixth one? I try my best. You try your best. <laughs> do you normally have dates in the morning? No, I don't have dates. You I don't, don't have dates? I like dates. What did you wake up to eat? I had basil. Is it like, are you meant to pray anywhere? Yeah, uh, you know like in Makkah? Makkah, what's that? In Ari Ari Saudi Arabia. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. There's like a... a Place? <laughs> there's like, there's a mosque. Okay. So like how you pray is like you have to... Um, face that your, way, right? Yeah, face yeah, that okay. way. So like it's, you have to find the... Place. So what do you do if you move into like a new house and you there's don't know which way? There's an app? Yeah. Something like this. It's like a compass. Oh. And like, here's the sign. So like, you have to pray with like, this way. Jakarta, you... There's a there's a thing there's on the a, ceiling, yeah. right? Yeah, I've seen yeah. that. Yeah. I wondered why it was there. Yeah, that's for the um, praying. And so we ate and ate and ate. And not ever having fasted before like this for Ramadan really made all the food taste so good. I tried a lot of the local foods. Luckily, I had a local to actually teach me how to eat it properly. More soup in it. More soup? Okay. <laughs> That's too dry. Okay, too dry. That's too dry for a soto. That's too dry for a soto. Okay. It looks better. Even more? It looks better. It needs better. to be swimming a little. <laughs> okay, a little bit more. It looks better. As the night was coming to a close, we played with their cat and they showed me some different types of carpets you could pray on. Again, something completely new to me. And I really wondered that while we are different, believe different and practice different things, we really are just all the same. They sent me home with some gifts, a coffee for the road, and a bag of food, including my dates for Sahur the next morning. Saying goodbye was hard, but I left with what felt like, honestly, a new family. No matter how different people may think we are. Okay, so it is early in the morning, just before 4.40, and I'm up for my Sahur. So lucky she packed me a bag of dates last night, so I'm gonna eat a few of these. Oh, there's a seed, my bad. Hey, they're delicious. They're really nice. <laughs> and I drink a little bit of water. I think I'm allowed to drink water. Um, I was super inspired about what I saw yesterday, so I'm going to fast um, today um, and take part in Ramadan again, but I'm going back to sleep after Sahur. <laughs> I'm not a morning person, so Tell me in the comments, when you do Ramadan, if you do Ramadan, do you go back to sleep after Sahur or do you stay up? Because I'm going back to sleep. <laughs> Good night. Or morning.
I went about my day fasting and it was harder than the day before. I really wanted to visit a night market for iftar, but when we got out to see it, the rain beat us to it. <laughs> the um, policeman is helping us uh, stay dry under here. <laughs> it's uh, pretty badly raining, as you can see, and we were on the way to um, iftar to break the fast for the day, which, yeah. You like Indonesia? Yeah. Yeah, bagus. Aku, aku cinta Indonesia. Honestly, I thought that was the end of my Ramadan experience, but after not making it to the market on my own, I decided that I wasn't done yet, and I wanted to take it up a notch. In the next one, I fly to a city that not only celebrates Ramadan, but implements Sharia law, one of the strictest Muslim places in the world. And I'll be there during Ramadan, where I'll have literally no choice but to participate. See you in the next one.